Hello guys, I hope you are doing really, really well. In this video, I am going to show you how to connect S Pen for air actions and charging with Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. So I will show you two different methods. So let's start. First of all, go to settings. Once you go inside settings, you have to scroll down and here you see this option of advanced features. So select this option and then from here, select S Pen. Once you select S Pen, here you see the very first option is about air actions. If it is disabled, you have to enable it from here. The next thing is you have to select these three dots and here you see this option of reset S Pen. So select reset S Pen, then it will ask you to insert your S Pen to connect it for air actions. So I will insert my S Pen inside my S24 Ultra. So once you insert your S Pen inside, here you can see it will start making the connection. You just have to wait for few seconds. So you can see the S Pen is now connected. Now I will take it out and I will test it for air actions. So I will take out my S Pen and here you can see it is also showing you this air action symbol and it is also showing you the battery percentage for S Pen. So now I will test it out. For example, I want to turn on the camera. I will press and hold this S Pen button. So I will press and hold it like this. So here you can see it will turn on the camera. Now for example, if I want to take a picture, I will press this S Pen button one time like this. It will take the picture for me. So air actions are working perfectly fine. The next thing that I want to mention here is if you want to buy S Pen from a marketplace, for example, from Amazon, please make sure that the S Pen comes with Bluetooth. So for example, here you can see we have this S24 Ultra Pen. So I will open it and here you can see it is showing without Bluetooth. So it means this S Pen will not perform air actions. Now if I go back and here you can see we have this second option. I will open it and here you can see this Galaxy S24 Ultra S Pen with Bluetooth. So this will perform the air action. One more thing here I want to mention for example I will open uh, this one. So here you can see this S24 Ultra is showing that it has this air command touch free control. So this means it will also perform the air actions. Now let's talk about second method. So go to settings and then scroll down and select this option of advanced features. And then from here select S Pen. So here you can see the air actions is currently disabled. So I will enable it from here and now it will directly ask you to insert your S Pen to connect it for air actions. So I will insert my S Pen inside Galaxy S24 Ultra without using this reset S Pen option. So here you can see the S Pen is now connected and ready to use. Now I will take it out and I will test it. So I will take it out and I will test it. For example, if I want to take a screenshot, so I will use the shake action. I will press this S Pen button and then I will do this air gesture. So here you can see it take the screenshot for me and now I can use it, I can edit it and I can share it. Now let's talk about air action customization. So go to settings and then again select this option of advanced features. Once you go inside advanced features, select S Pen and here you see the first option is about air actions. So select air actions and now here you can customize all your air actions. For example, the press and hold pen button currently set for camera, but you can change it as well. Select this camera option from here. So from here you can select any app. For example, I want to select this create note option. Now if I press and hold my S Pen button, it will open the Samsung notes. So here you can see it will open the Samsung notes and here you can take your notes. The next thing is you can also go for other options. So here is the air gestures. So here you can see this screen right is set for shake action, but you can also change it. For example, you can set it for smart select. Now if I press and hold my S Pen button and now if I do this shake action, it will open the smart select tool. 
so for example i will do this air gesture so here you can see it open the smart select tool now i can select any part of my screen and i can edit it i can pin it and i can share it now if i go back from here the next thing is about app actions so these are different apps so you can do air actions for these apps as well for example if you want to change slides in powerpoint presentation you can use your s pen button so now i will open a powerpoint presentation and i will show you how to change slides so here is the present option it will open my powerpoint presentation and now for example i want to change slides i will press this s pen button one time so here you can see it will move to the next slide again if i press it like this it will change to the next slide now if i want to go back to the previous slide i have to press this s pen button two times so i will press it two times like this so here you can see it will go back to the previous slide and then if i press it two times again it will go back to the first slide now if you scroll down here you can see it is showing you general app actions so here you can see for camera single press is set for take picture if you want to change it select this take picture option and here you can see you also have the option of do nothing same thing for the media for example if you want to play or or pause the video you can press this s pen button to play or pause the video if you want to change it select this play and pause and then from here you can select any option for example you can set it for play next video so you can select play next from here now if you press this s pen button one time it will move to the next video so for the double press currently it is set to play next you can select it and then you can select any option from here for example you can select it for volume up so you can customize all of these air actions the next thing is you can also use s pen air actions inside your gallery for example i open my gallery and then from here i open this image now if you want to move to the next image or next video you just have to press this s pen button one time so i will press it one time like this so here you can see it will move to the next image if i press this button again it will move to the next video and now if i want to move back I have to press this S pen button two times. So I will press it two times like this. So here you can see it will move back to the previous image. And then if I press it two times like this, it will move back to the first image. The next thing is to charge your S pen, you have to insert it inside your phone. And here it is also showing you the charging percentage. One more thing I want to mention here is once your S pen is connected for air actions, it will also show you this air action symbol on this top right corner so here you can see this air action symbol so it means the s pen is ready to do the air actions so guys this is for today's video please like this video and please subscribe to my channel thank you very much